An interesting position to watch for the Ravens this offseason has been outside linebacker. The Ravens have a number of young players competing at that spot. And some of the best outside linebackers on this roster have been sidelined or limited during practices over the course of OTAs. Odafe Owe is working his way back from shoulder surgery that he had earlier this offseason. Tyus Bowser is recovering from a torn Achilles that he suffered in the last game of the season. Rookie second round pick David Ajabo is also working his way back from the torn Achilles that he suffered during the pre-draft process. The glass half full mentality with all those injuries is that the Ravens are getting a good look at the young players on this team. That means someone like Dalen Hayes, Jalen Ferguson, also recently acquired veteran Vince Beagle. They're getting a ton of reps during practice as the Ravens assess that group. And last week, defensive coordinator Mike McDonald talked about those guys. Yeah, you know, the, the outside backer groups, it's a little difficult now because because of lack of reps, you know, going around. But those, the guys that are repping are getting a ton of practice. So they're doing a great job. Again, the pass rush will be will be kind of just at, as we figure out who can do what, you know. And I think the biggest thing that goes untalked about with the pass rush is it's really married to what you're playing in the coverage. You know, like a lot of times people have like time to throw stats, things like that. But it's does the quarterback know where to go to the, with the ball? If he knows, well, shoot, the ball's coming out fast. If he doesn't, well, that's you get a chance to go to work. And when you pressure, you know, those those variables change a little bit. So uh, we'll see. You know, it's it's a, it's a, again, it's something in progress. Um, as we get guys that are available to practice more, we'll start moving around a bit more and see see where we go from there. Now this is the final week of organized team activity, so we'll have a chance to watch practice tomorrow and also get a chance to hear from some of the guys afterwards. We're going to stream those press conferences live for you on our app, our website, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page once practice ends tomorrow around 2 p.m., so stay tuned for that. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.